Auto Week and I'm here with Carl and we're in front of his 1946 Spartan travel trailer that he uses to house his food truck, Ned's Travel Burger. So this thing is older than my dad. How did you come to own this? Uh, well, uh, this, this particular trailer came from uh, Peru, Indiana and there's a fellow down there that actually owns a uh, uh, a trailer park kind of situation where he he renovates trailers and actually leases them out to people. It's a little different than a uh, than an Airstream trailer in that it uh, it's kind of the way I look at it is more aggressive looking, mm -hmm. and it uh, actually polishes up a little bit shinier than a, an Airstream trailer. This is the original wheel well right here, and uh, so what we did is uh, in order to create some more headspace for our uh, exhaust system and stuff, we actually raised the uh, trailer by a foot. So we added onto the chassis about a, a foot high tub, lifted the uh, shell off of it and dropped the shell back down. And we added tandem axles too because of the weight uh, that we're, we're carrying inside the trailer with all of our equipment, kitchen equipment and stuff. So who's Ned? Ned is my uh, 10 year old son. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of a catchy name for the, uh, for the business. And the travel burger comes from the fact that the burger's rectangular fits into a sleeve so you can actually carry it and eat it with one hand and hold your cold beverage of your choice in the other hand. So it's not like holding a, a hamburger mm -hmm. with two hands and grabbing things, but you can actually you know, have uh, one hand free for whatever you're going to do with this wheel, one. Yeah, yeah. Steering wheel for traveling or, mm -hmm. or if you're flying an airplane or any of those things, yeah. And here we have our commercial fryer, 45 pounds of, uh, of oil. We use uh, rice bran oil, which is quite healthy, mm -hmm. and we par, par fry our fries. So we, actually cook them up the night before at mm -hmm. 300 degrees, then store them overnight in the, in the fridge, and then we put them back in there, cook them for a minute, and makes them nice and crunchy on the outside, and nice mm -hmm. and soft and on the inside. So we have a 36-inch griddle here, which we cook the delicious uh, handmade Ned Travel Burgers. And we have a, uh, a, a sandwich uh, cooler here, where we put all of our condiments up on top, and then we have storage for our burgers and other items down here. And like I was saying earlier, we use all uh, meat from Fowlerville, Michigan, from the 4-H club. It's grass-fed and uh, it's all organic, no, uh, no shots and no hormones. hormones and all that other, other bad stuff. We get our buns right here from the holiday market. It's kind of mm -hmm. unusual for a hamburger bun, but this is the way we do it. It's a challah bread or challah dough. So what's on the travel burger? Mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and onion. All right. And the travel turkey? The travel turkey comes with a cilantro, corn, cherry tomato salsa with a spicy mayo dressing. All right. It's very spicy. I will have a travel turkey and an order of french fries, please. You got it. All right. That's how we do it here at Ned's Travel Burger.